Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mariola. I'm super excited to take you guys along today. We're going to a hike in El Junque. We are starting off with one of the easier hikes that they have there. I believe it's called the Mount Britain Trail. It's about 0.81 mile hike and about 45 minutes round trip. We are trying to work our way up to one of the more extreme ones that's about a seven hour round trip hike, but it takes you to an amazing view. But hopefully that will be in a later video. But for today, we're going with an easy 45 minute hike. Hopefully we have some nice weather over there. I am prepared. I have my magic mind shot with me because I need the energy right now. If you've been here before, I reviewed this product when I was doing my law school series vlog. I took it during my finals. It helped me stay focused. And right now I need a lot of energy and focus to prepare for this hike. So I am taking it with me. It's a matcha shot that you can pair it any way you like. I like doing it with my oat milk because it's super delicious. And I've been still taking it after my finals were done and I love integrating it into my routine. So if you wanna check them out, I will link it all down below for you and I will also link above the video where I reviewed it for the first time. As a thing to know before you do go, you do have to reserve in the system that I will link down below. It is about $2 per car and it gives you two time slots for the reservation. It gives you like a time frame where you can go into a Junka. I believe doors close everywhere around 5 p.m. So just keep that in mind when you do go. So let's get into the video. We usually just put El Junque on Google Maps and it takes you to the entrance. There's a couple of restaurants leading up to it and you will see a lot of brown signs saying that you're nearing El Junque Rainforest. We are still not inside, but I wanted to show you guys how the road looks leading up to it. As you can see, it's a little bit narrow. Not as bad as a couple of other ones that I've shown in my videos, but just so you can get an idea that it is a little nerve-wracking whenever you pass another car beside you. We are finally inside El Junque Rainforest, and it takes about 10 minutes to get to where you have to show your reservation, and you're going to pass a couple of restaurants, so there are some food options while you're in here. And then you finally see some green cones leading up to a gate where you can find somebody to show the fact that you have a reservation. You give them your last name, they look you up on the list, and they let you go inside. And this is the gate that closes at 5 p.m. The road leading up to the Mount Britain Trail parking lot was closed due to construction, so we had to park a little further down. Estación Palo Colorado had a couple of parking spots as well as some restrooms. Since the road leading up to the Mount Britain parking lot was closed, I'm not sure if it's due to a constant construction or just for the time being, we did have to walk from the estacion that we parked at over to the parking lot to be able to start the trail. They do have a designated pedestrian area to the side of the road where you can walk up safely, but I will say the roads are insanely slanted. They're really curvy, so they do take a toll on your knees. And I don't know if this will always be the case, but you do have to plan then about a 30 minute walk just to get from that parking lot to the start of the Mount Britain Trail. For some reason, Google Maps was showing me that this way was a shorter way to get there, but it was blocked for pedestrians for some weird reason, so we had to take the long route there, and then I finally showed my husband where we were going. You're joking. I'm not joking, that's it. You're joking. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, Come on, now I have to bleep that. So that's where we're going. Yep, that's the tower that you're going to climb up to in this trail. It looks insanely daunting, but it's not as bad while you're doing the hike. I can guarantee you that. But I cannot guarantee you that you won't already be huffing and puffing by the time you get to this point if you had to park where we had to park because it took us 26 minutes to get to the parking lot of the Mount Britain Trail. So now that we finally made it, it was finally time to start the actual hike. So as soon as you get there, you can see this map. I did not look at it at all. I just took this video in case we got lost and thankfully there was no need to reference it. This is what the path for the hike looks like for the majority of the time. Sometimes you have those rails on the side sometimes you don't it is a little bit narrow but enough space for one person as you can see the floor is a little bit slippery and looks mossy even though it hadn't rained because you are completely covered in vegetation and it is so nice and cool inside while you are walking but it's also a little bit humid you have a couple steps here and there and a lot of amazing nature sounds that you can hear all around you like this Hello. Hello, you too. Throughout the trail, you can also find a couple of rest stops like this, but we did not stop in any single one because we were trying to gun to the top since we had not allotted that time for the extra 26 minutes to get just to the parking spot. 
And finally, once you see this opening, you are nearing the top, but you're not at the top yet. You still have a couple of more steps to go that I will show you. But as you can see, everything is starting to open up and you get an amazing view and the temperature also changes, which is why my camera is currently fogging up. Not entirely sure how this works, but when we got to the top here, there was another map and there is a road leading up to here. So I'm not sure if this is another way that you can get to the trail, if there's a way to bypass this whole thing entirely. Not entirely sure, but just something to look into if you're interested. And if you want to make it to the tower, you still have to go up that little hill that I showed you right there. And let me tell you, it is a steep one and kind of like the one getting to the actual parking lot. It is curvy. So my knees once again were feeling it. I can swear my legs were shaking at this point because I was so tired. But this is the last hill that you have to go up. And as soon as you make that right turn, you keep walking a little bit more and you will see the tower in front of you and you will hear the angels sing. While it is such a great feat to have made it to the tower, you still have a couple more steps to climb if you want to soak in the amazing view. This hike was definitely one worth celebrating and I want to show you guys that my Apple Watch said we were at an elevation of 957 feet. Thankfully the walk back was way easier and way faster and it was crazy that we could actually see the tower once again on our way down, something that we did not notice on our way up and it was just crazy to think how about 30 minutes prior to where we were right now we were at the top of that monster. By the time we had made it to the car, as you can see, we did 3.79 miles and it took us almost two hours round trip. And we stopped by the little lookout area and did some stretching because our calves definitely needed it. And then it was time to leave Junke. So we are leaving Junke. It is 4.38, made it before the gate closed at 5 p.m., which is what we were stressing for. But overall thoughts, it was a fun hike. It is labeled as one of the easy hikes from El Junque. And I think if the parking where you usually park at was open, it'd be a moderate hike because you still have some steep hills to climb and the path is very narrow as you can see. And I didn't bring my hiking boots because I thought it wasn't gonna be anything too crazy, but I definitely recommend it because even though it didn't rain today, it was still very mozo. How do you say that? Like it was slippery because it was it wasn't wet, but I guess the humidity yeah. was making the floor a little bit slippery. So just beware. You can see it took us a long time and because we had to walk from the parking to even the trail, which took us about 30 plus minutes, we were exhausted. Uphill, Uphill slanted, it hurt my knees, honestly. So we are exhausted. It was very fulfilling to make it to the top, but at the same time, we had to rush back down to make it out in time. So just be warned and plan ahead timing wise, but any thoughts? Or do you agree? Bring water. Do you concur? Bring water. Bring water. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Spring water. Yeah. And come energized. That's yep. it. <laughs> come with time. 
and time yes but thank you so much for joining us i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will link everything that has to do with el junque as well as magic mind below and my discount code if you guys want to check them out so thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you in the next one bye your water bottle <laughs>